wait before you switch off this is not another shoe unboxing it is a very very special handbag unboxing and i've got my little friend to help me unbox this exciting package. This is gonna be my first personal ever Kelly. My first ever personal Kelly. <laughs> the Kelly that I got for myself, basically. I've been shopping a lot in quarantine, even though I'm not really in quarantine anymore. By law, I can leave my house. However, I choose not to because I don't know how people you know, assume that the world is just gonna go back to normal. I really don't think it's gonna go back to normal because what is normal? What was normal? It's just, it's not happening. In 2020, we don't blow out candles on cakes. It's just not happening. And we don't hug, we don't shake hands, and we don't kiss. I guess 2020 has turned us all into Muslims. Okay, bad joke. In today's video, we are doing an Hermes Kelly unboxing. And this is my first Hermes Kelly. I don't know how many times I can say this, but this was bought from a reseller. It was actually purchased in Dubai. So when I did my Birkin unboxing, I did not have any other reseller that I used. However, I discovered a new reseller based in Dubai because she contacted me on Instagram. She said she saw my videos and she's so sweet. I love you, Jess. Thank you so much for finding me this bag. When I bought my Aramis Birkin, I was like, wow, I really need to get a Kelly now. Usually, I would be a very boring kind of person. But recently, I've become a new woman and I've been injecting color into my life. So today, without further ado, we're gonna be revealing my new Kelly. And before you actually watch this, let me know what color you think I got, guys, because this is gonna be interesting. This is a color which I didn't personally think I'd be able to get a hold of because it is brand new this season and she actually gave me the receipt from Hermes which we can go through. It was actually bought from the store that I buy all my shoes from. I could walk into that store and be like hi and they will honestly be shocked that I have this bag. Oh my god. Kelly 28. I was tossing up between getting this in a Birkin or a Kelly but you know what? The Kelly is just wow. I'm kind of obsessed with this one particular style of Kelly. I think it is just my favorite right now. This bag, wow. It is so special, so, so special. So, oh, okay, so the raincoat is in the box with, with the little care card thing. And I've said this before, but I really do like keeping the raincoat in the bag, particularly if I'm in London. However, because I'm in Dubai and it very rarely rains, I don't actually keep the raincoats in the bag or keep them in the boxes. In fact, whenever I'm not using my bags, I will keep them in the boxes and the dust bags. Sometimes I'll air them out. Ah, guys, I'm so excited. Okay, here we have my new Aramans Kelly in, I'm gonna butcher this, Ver Cricket, Green Cricket. Oh my God. And this is, in Epsom leather, it's a Celia Kelly, which means that the stitching is on the outside. The retonne is more like a relaxed kind of look. It's when the stitching is on the inside, the bag is literally like flipped inside out. And it's got more of like a relaxed look. And I don't think they do them in Epsom because Epsom's quite a structured, sturdy leather. And I think those are really done in Togo. As you guys can see, it's got the plastic still on. So we can open her up together. Wow, I never thought I would have a bag this color, but when I saw it on Instagram, I just died. Okay, so inside, we have the strap pouch. So she has a shoulder strap, which attaches onto the bag. Okay, so this is sealed as well, so you can take off of that. And she has stuffing. This is gold, honestly gold to me. And of course, the little lock and key. I am so obsessed with this bag. It's unreal, like I just... So as you guys can see inside, completely brand new. The bag was actually purchased yesterday. You can see literally the date and the place that it was purchased from. She actually had this bag a few weeks prior and I really wanted to get it, but I'd also just bought a Dior bag. It wasn't a cheap Dior bag, so that put me back a little bit. 
But then I was like, you know what? No. <laughs> the Dior bag came out of nowhere. I have to have this green bag because I'm just never going to get it otherwise. I'm so happy she managed to get me this beautiful bag. Like, let's just take a look at this bag in all its glory. In fact, let's remove the stickers. This is my favorite bit because this is how you know the bag is really yours to keep. If anyone wants to buy this bag off me, yeah, it's not happening. I'm still so shocked I managed to get this because I'd low-key given up on the idea of this bag because I didn't think it would physically be possible because I thought that everyone would want this bag and they would sell out in seconds and I'd have to pay like triple the amount. Oh wait, I paid like double. I'm not complaining. I'm really not because this bag is worth every penny. I think I'm going to enjoy you very much. For this, I don't really think I need to get any kind of inserts because obviously it's a sturdy bag. So now that all the plastic is off, you can see it in all its glory. Let me actually put the strap on. I've never actually had um, a Celia Kelly. Growing up, I wasn't really a fan of the Celia Kelly. I felt like it was just too like structured. But I feel like if you have a Birkin, then you need a Celia Kelly because it's like they're completely different types of bags. Because the Birkin is more like a relaxed vibe, whereas the Celia Kelly is like, I'm here for business. I'm honestly still in disbelief that I have this bag. This is like a pistachio kind of green. And it's just, oh, I love pistachio green. It's times like these that I love having a monochromatic wardrobe because I know that this bag will literally go with everything. I love how short the strap is. Oh, that is perfect. It's not going to be super long and ridiculous. Can I wear you crossbody or does that look silly? I mean, it doesn't look horrific. It's kind of... <gasps> oh, I love you. Oh, we forgot about your little feet. Let's take your shoes off. I think it's important to build up a nice collection of classics before you start buying into crazy colors. And right now, personally, I feel like I have the perfect collection of Chanel classics. I now have my beautiful little black Birkin. I do want to get either a Birkin 25 or a Kelly 25, 28 in gold with gold hardware. But that again is another hard to get hold of bag. But it'll happen for me. I'm manifesting it. I've been manifesting this bag for so long. I've been praying for you. I prayed for the Birkin. God is great. Jess, you are great. Thank you so much for getting me this bag. Like I am over the moon with how beautiful she is and I just cannot deal. <gasps> I wish I had someone to take you, but I have absolutely nowhere to go, but I will figure out. We'll take you to the supermarket. We'll take you for a drive. You can just sit in the car. I can just enjoy a romantic drive with you. But yeah, so this is the new Kelly 28 Vert Criquet Green Cricket color. Also, if you're looking to buy your first Kelly, you really have to decide between the sizes first, obviously the leather, and the kind of vibe you want to go for, which will kind of really dictate your leather choices. The Celia, like I said, the Epsom Celia is a very stiff, sturdy bag and usually when it comes to me and buying bags i like bags which have very easy access particularly why i love my birkin so much because i can literally stick my hand in and take whatever out i kind of leave the front flap inside the bag this is possible with retourne bags more than cellier bags usually with cellier bags if you leave them open like this they don't look the nicest and closing them can be a bit of a hassle however it's not really possible. Well, it is, but like, it's just not cute to kind of have your bag with a flap inside like this and then held in your arm because then this comes up. And even though it is easy access, it doesn't look great. But one way I like to wear cellia bags is I'll pull through the straps as tightly as possible, close down the flap, turn the lock and just put the flaps underneath. So it's like this. And it just saves me the hassle of having to put on the little straps because that's, that's annoying to me. But I love how this is structured without having to be too annoying. And it looks cute. Whereas if I just tried to tuck it in like this, it kind of destroys the shape of the bag and I don't really want to do that. I do really love keeping Kelly's open even though people will come up to me frequently and be like, excuse me, your bag's open. I'm like, yes, thank you. Because it's close to my body, I'm not too afraid of it. So it's fine. 
but this just makes life a little bit simpler having to close it like this and put the little flaps underneath this obviously you can wear in so many different ways you can even leave the flaps over but personally i i think that looks really scruffy and i feel like this is a very elegant kind of bag therefore everything should be tucked away and all neat and tidy oh, i just love you so much i don't actually know where i'm gonna put these it's easier with a retourne but with a celly i think i'm just going to keep them inside the actual bag itself because i don't want it looking scruffy almost so to give you guys a better understanding of what the 28 looks like in comparison to the 25 and the 30 this is the birkin 25 and this is the kelly 28 there's not a huge difference really like it's not massive this is the birkin 30 the one i've been using quite often recently compared to the kelly 28 this is a little bigger but it's not much bigger <laughs> yeah that really doesn't help the birkin is what you would call retourne because the stitching is on the inside whereas the stitching on this kelly is outside and again you can see the difference in the types of bags in the sense that this is definitely more of like a casual less structured slouchy bag particularly because it is in clement's leather and obviously this is more structured and hard because it is in epsom leather so epsom is the stiffest it's got this really tightly packed grained leather it's so beautiful i absolutely love this on kelly's i would definitely love a birkin in epsom because it's going to be structured but this is the togo leather where it's slightly veinier the grain is slightly larger on this, so beautiful. It's slouchier, it's softer, whereas with this one, you can't really squeeze it and soften the leather. And then the Clements leather is the biggest of all greens. And you guys can see it's super soft, super relaxed, really beautiful leather, and it just flops. Such a lovely color. I think Hermes just hits the nail on the head when it comes to colors. Their colors are always the most magical. You guys will notice I, I'm not a huge fan of palladium hardware. It's yellow gold or rose gold strictly for me. And I feel like it just looks nicer because a majority, actually all my jewelry is yellow or rose gold. I don't really like white gold, platinum or silver to be completely honest with you guys. Everything gets a twilly. Every bag that I have gets a twilly. Any, anything that has a handle, I have to put a twilly on. I've just become obsessed with twillies. So, very exciting twilly moment. I feel like twillies, even though I did assume that they were very mature and adult and just like work for me, the older I get, the more my style is evolving and changing and I do appreciate a twilly because I do feel like twillies, particularly on bags which are black and like a tube and the attain and the gray and the, you know, the, the, the basic colors, I feel like they just switch up the entire bag like this is a whole new bag without this twilly it's just a plain black little birkin but this adds a pop of color particularly when you're someone like me who only really wears strictly monochromatic clothes so that basically concludes this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you let me know in the comments below what bag you think i should get next but give me time okay i spent a lot of money in quarantine unnecessarily but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video make sure you hit that subscribe button tap that bell to get notified and check me out on instagram even though i don't really use that <laughs>